Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Hi, everybody. My name is Alicia. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about 12 common expressions that use the word make. Let's get started. The first expression I want to talk about is a very common one we use for meals. The expression is to make meal. So this can be to make breakfast, to make lunch, to make dinner. This means to cook that meal or to prepare that meal. For example, in past tense, I made dinner last night. So it's up to you. You can use cooked dinner if you want, or lunch or breakfast or whatever. But generally, we don't use a verb like create or prepare, at least in everyday speech, because it sounds quite formal, especially prepare. Create might be used for like a professional chef. So in everyday speech, we typically use make, in past tense, made. I made dinner last night. The second expression for this lesson is to make a plan, to make a plan. So to make a plan just means to create a plan. So this can be a plan for anything, for travel, for work, for your studies. To make a plan means to create a plan. You will notice throughout this lesson, there are lots of expressions that use the verb make to mean create. So this is a key difference between make and do. We use do a lot for activities. We use make when we are creating something. So in this case, to create a plan refers to make a plan. For example, we made a plan for the weekend. So here I'm using it in past tense again, and I'm following made a plan with for, this preposition for. This shows the purpose of the plan. We made a plan for the weekend, the weekend. So in this case, I'm talking about my plan for my activities for the weekend. We made a plan for the weekend. Okay, onward to the next expression, very common, to make a reservation. To make a reservation means to reserve something. So we use this expression when we are calling restaurants, maybe bars, cafes, hotels. We would use this as well when we are making reservations for airplane tickets too. So anytime you need to reserve something, you can use the expression make a reservation. At a hair salon is another case. So for example, hello. I'm calling to make a reservation, please. So you can use this on the phone. Here I've used calling, I'm calling, means right now I'm on the phone. This is an expression that's very commonly used to begin a conversation on the phone. So you can use this in any situation where you need to make a reservation. Okay, let's move on to the next one, also extremely common, to make a mistake. To make a mistake means to do something incorrectly, to do something incorrectly. So to make a mistake, this is a very common expression because we make lots of mistakes. So mistakes happen a lot. So to express that, we can use something like this example. Oh no, I made a mistake. Oh no, I made a mistake. So again, past tense, made here. I made a mistake. So not mistaked. Oh no, I mistaked. But I made a mistake. So I did something incorrectly. That's what this expression means. Okay, so let's move on then to some more advanced expressions that use make. This one is to make something up to make something. So here, there's some other information in the sentence. This expression means to lie or to create a false story. So this thing, uh, as we'll see in just a moment, is something that is not true. So for example, I made up a reason for why I couldn't go to the party. I made up a reason for why I couldn't go to the party. So this is an expression where we can put this something here, yes, like let's make something up means let's create something that's not true. Let's make a lie, let's create a lie. Or we can put make up plus, in this case, a reason. 
So, in this example sentence, this reason is false. We know that because this expression, made up, means to lie or to create a false story. So, if we say, I made a reason, it's not the same. We need to use, I made up a reason for why I couldn't go to the party. So, in this case, the lie was for the purpose of like escaping this party. So, for why I couldn't go to the party. So, for a reason I couldn't go. I was not able to attend. So, maybe I was able to attend, but I didn't want to go. So, I created a reason. This is a lie. So, this is how we use the expression to make up something or to make something up. You can use both of them. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. The next expression is to make do. To make do. This is interesting. This means to use something of low quality when you want something of high quality. So you want this thing, but the thing you have is down here. So you decide, okay, I'll use it. When we want to express that as a verb, we say to make do. To make do. For example, this isn't the equipment I wanted, but I'll make do. This isn't the equipment that I wanted, but I'll make do. So, for example, I really wanted this camera for my project, but this is the camera my company has. So, okay, I'll use this. I'll make do. So, it's of lower quality, yes, but I will do my best with this low quality item instead of the high quality one I wanted. So, we say to make do to describe this. All right, let's move over to the other side of the board. The next expression is to make time to or to make time for. So, these both mean to create time in a schedule. Of course, we cannot like create time, but this means like finding time in a schedule. So, what's the difference between to and for here? We use to before a verb in the regular infinitive form. We use for before a noun. So, this can be a person or an activity. For example, he made time for me on Tuesday. He made time for me on Tuesday. Again, past tense. And here I'm using for because the next item in the sentence is a noun, me. So, he made time for me on Tuesday. So, I could change this to to, like he made time to meet me on Tuesday if I want to use a verb. So, you can choose whichever you prefer, the verb form or the noun form. To make time for means to create time in a schedule. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next one is to make up with. To make up with. So, to make up with means to reconcile, which means to repair a relationship. So, to reconcile with someone means, for example, you have a fight, an argument, a disagreement. There's something bad happens, that, something bad that happens in your relationship, and you have some distance maybe, or you have a problem. But to reconcile means to fix that, to fix that relationship. So, to make up with someone means to repair that relationship. For example, I finally made up with my roommate after our fight last week. So, I finally repaired my relationship with my roommate after our fight last week. So, made up with is a much shorter way of saying repaired my relationship with or fixed my relationship with. We don't really say that. We say made up with to mean like we repaired something that happened in the past that wasn't so good. In this case, we had a fight last week, but I finally fixed it. Together, uh, we repaired our relationship. Okay, let's move on then to the next one, which is a little similar to to make up with. It is to make it up to someone. To make it up to someone is used to mean to apologize with an action. So, we usually use to make it up to someone after we apologize. For example, I'm so sorry I'm late. So, apology. I'm so sorry I'm late. Let me make it up to you. 
let me make it up to you. Let me apologize with an action. So let me fix the situation with an action. First drink is on me. First drink is on me means I will buy the first drink. So you're meeting someone, you're late. I'm very sorry, I'm late. Let me fix it. I will buy the first drink. That's what this means. So I'm sorry I'm late. Let me make it up to you. First drink is on me. So to make it up to someone, here someone is you. So you're waiting for this person. They are late. They decide they want to fix their error with a drink. So this is another common expression, but be careful. Don't mix it up with to make it up, or sorry, don't, don't mix it up with to make up with. To make up with means to repair a relationship, kind of general. To make it up to someone means like to repair an, a past error with an action specifically. Okay, let's move on to this one. To make a day or night or weekend or other time period of it, of it, this is an interesting expression. This means to do an activity for a period of time. We use this expression when we are making plans and we decide, hmm, we should use this entire, this whole time period to do that activity. For example, why don't we go to the beach? We could make a weekend of it. We could make a weekend of it. So here's the suggested activity. Why don't we go to the beach? And then they say, the speaker says, we could make a weekend of it. That means this activity could be for one weekend. So we could do this activity, visiting the beach, for the entire weekend. So we could make a weekend of it. We could change this to day. We could make a day of it. So meaning a one day trip to the beach. So that means using the entire time period to do an activity, to make a weekend of it, to make a day of it, to make a night of it, to make an evening of it, to make a morning of it. So we use these time periods. We generally don't use something like make a month of it. I suppose you could in like maybe very long travel situations, but we typically use this for shorter things, shorter activities, like a weekend trip or maybe a trip to a certain shopping mall in the morning. Uh, we typically don't use this for very long periods of time. So we could make a weekend of it, sounds quite natural. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next one is to make it quick or to make it fast or to make it snappy. So quick and fast, both mean the same thing, to do something at a, at a high speed. Snappy is kind of a casual, rough word, which means fast or quick. So we use it in this expression, not so much in other situations. But to make it quick, to make it fast, to make it snappy means to do something quickly. So we usually use this when we are in a rush to go somewhere or we want to go somewhere very soon or we want to do something very soon and someone wants to do a different activity and maybe we feel a little pressure or a little stress. So we say something like, you want to shop now? Okay, but make it quick. We have to catch a train. So here, a person wants to go shopping, maybe they are traveling somewhere, and the speaker says, okay, but make it quick, or okay, but make it fast, okay, but make it snappy. So we have to catch a train. So this is the reason the person shopping needs to go quickly. So there's a train to catch. So make it quick, make it fast, make it snappy. Be careful, this expression can sound a little aggressive, like you're pushing the other person to do something quickly because like you have pressure or some stress in your situation. So make it quick, make it fast, make it snappy. Okay, the last expression for this lesson then is this long one, to make a mountain out of a molehill. To make a mountain out of a molehill. So a mountain is of course a very large part of nature. A molehill, this word comes from a small creature uh, that lives in the ground called a mole. A molehill is very small. So a mountain is very large. A molehill is very small. So this is where these creatures live on the ground. So this expression, to make a mountain out of a molehill, means to consider a small problem as a big problem. To make a mountain out of a molehill. That means I have a small problem here, 
but in my mind, I consider it a very big problem. So for example, her mistake at work wasn't a big problem. She's making a mountain out of a molehill. So here, this person, this she, maybe made a mistake at work and she thinks, oh no, it was such a big problem. I feel so bad, I'm so upset. So she thinks the mistake is the size of a mountain. But her colleague, maybe, thinks, no, it wasn't such a big problem. It was very small. So this person, the person who made a mistake, is making a mountain out of a molehill. She's considering the problem as bigger than it actually is. So this is kind of like a don't worry expression. It's not such a big deal to make a mountain out of a molehill. You may also hear this in the plural form. So don't make mountains out of molehills. You may hear that too. Okay, so those are 12 expressions that use the verb make. I hope that you found something new here. Of course, if you know some other expressions that use make, please feel free to share them in the comments. Also, if you want to practice making some sentences with one of these expressions, please feel free to do that in the comment section as well. If you liked this lesson, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and check us out at EnglishClass101.com for some other things that can help you with your English. English studies. Thanks very much for watching this lesson and I will see you again soon. Bye bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.